Okay. So, hmm. Despair by Vladimir Nabokov. Um, probably a little bit one of his lesser known works. Um, I do know that it's probably uh, not nearly as much as well no as um, infamous as Lolita, or uh, maybe not quite as controversial. Um, this is probably back when uh, Nabokov adopted more, or rather maintained more of a Slavic style, I guess. Like with Mary, I think that was a very kind of Slavic, kind of traditional kind of look into Russian home life and in these, you know, the, the kind of the, um, it's kind of a smaller look, kind of, but more focused in look at, you know, a small scale kind of Russian household. And this is, um, uh, probably like a, almost in between that and, uh, Lolita or something like Pale Fire in the sense that, um, so it's about a man by the name of Herman, I think Karlovich, Karlovich, and he's this, um, descended by, I, I don't know if he's full, if he's Russian or if he's German, though, I'm not sure if he's, or if he's, uh, kind of a mix of both, but he does have, um, a chocolate factory that he owns, and he, um, all of this is, uh, from the point of view of him, so you get kind of a direct, in, you know, kind of, um, deep dive into his psych, you know, psychology of what's going on inside his mind when he's thinking all these crazy things. Um, and it is pretty, uh, it's a morbidly funny novel, I'd say. There's parts of it that I was almost laughing out loud by how <laughs> ridiculous it was. Um, but yeah, it's, um, in that kind of staves off kind of the, the ending of it, which just gets really pretty dark, but, um, so, it's, yeah, it's about Herman, and he's uh, probably about middle-aged, and it's uh, he has a wife named Lydia, and then uh, who he is completely oblivious to the fact that she's, like, basically unfaithful to him. Either that, like, he either is so um, clueless that he does, just doesn't know, or he does know and just probably just, you know, wants to omit, omit anything and just wants to kind of... Uh, just not really have to face up or fess up to the tro to the problems of of uh, adultery in his family and like, but who knows? It's left up to interpretation because you get that unreliable narrator, very similar to what's happening in Pale Fire, um, but not too similar. I mean, Pale Fire is like a lot more experimental, I'd say. Um, but yeah, so he's um, his wife's Lydia, and then he runs into this guy named um, Felix, and he's seen he's. Um, He's uh, convinced that Felix is his doppelganger, even though, like, the latter, um, the man himself doesn't actually agree with him at all and, and doesn't see any resemblance. Um, he insists that, uh, you know, that he is, like, tit for tat, like, basically the same person biologically. So, and then this kind of, like, plants an idea in his mind, and then uh, as the novel progresses, he kind of gets, like, more and more uh insane and then he gets really fixated on this idea of uh using him to obtain like insurance money so he tries to permit commit like the perfect murder and uh he ends up um trying to lure felix into his grips again and uh spoiler alert um <laughs> ends up uh yeah like killing him and then uh at this point he's um like, his plan, like, starts to fall apart because he's, like, like, he's caught by, um, obviously by, you know, the police catch on to his crimes and he's, uh, you know, uh, put, you know, hold, put in holding and then basically, you know, uh, when he confesses, like, yeah, this is why, because he was my doppelganger, it turns out he wasn't his doppelganger, he wasn't, um, in the slightest, like, any, like, nobody else really saw the resemblance, so it's kind of, like, all, you know, all in his head pretty much the whole time. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of the gist of it in a nutshell. I, um, I really liked how, um, like, the use, the kind of, like, tragic irony in a classic sense. Like, it's drawn from a lot. Um, yeah, this was Nabokov's fourth novel, and he, uh, by this time, I think he was pretty, uh, like, it, it did kind of establish some kind of style. But I did like that it still kind of retained an old tragic, you know, almost a uh, tragic comic sense, because he's like, that's like the worst kind of, um, like, ill-fated kind of bad luck that anybody can have. Um, like, he's like, the, the, like, nobody wins in the end. Is um, But yeah, it's um, definitely 
um, pretty interesting. Uh, I think like um, definitely darker than some of his other stuff. Um, I do I do know Lolita has you know kind of you know pretty dark aspect to it too, especially with how the characters of you know Humbert Humbert, um, both him and his doppelganger. Oh yes, that reminds me like his uh, Claire Quilty, and that was supposed to be kind of like a a, I don't know if it was like a right on the nose kind of do like uh, pound for pound doppelganger or if he was also supposed to be kind of like it's like vaguely like uh, mistaken for him uh, but there's a very that's you know there's a similar thing you know that theme like he's able to kind of reintroduce that in a creative aspect way um, so yeah uh, now it calls despair Sorry. thanks for watching